Mexican President Enrique Peña Nieto's Pacto por México means the country should see faster and easier reforms in the next few years than it has for decades. With me is Carlos Hank Gonzalez, President of Banco Interacciones, to discuss the impact on the country's economy. Carlos, welcome. Thank you, Nick. Tell us about the reforms and how they've affected Mexico's economic performance. The recent reforms, well, first of all, let me tell you that the, the reforms are now creating a lot of uh, excitement in Mexico because it can really make a big breakthrough for the country. The recent reforms that have been made already, two of them are the most important. First, the, the education reform, which can be a big change for Mexico in the long run. We needed that for a long time, and I think it was a very good uh, choice by the President Peña. So I think it will be a big game changer in the long run. And the second reform, which should have results very fast, is the banking reform. And it's mainly focused into having better credits, better loans for the people, for the businesses, and at a cheaper prices. And as you know, if banks are lending, it's a growth for, for the country. So we're, we're expecting big things, and we should have also other reforms passed uh, during the year, which should really set a big, bigger growth rate for Mexico. And if we look at the banking reform in some more detail, what is this hoping to achieve? What it's hoping to achieve is what I was telling you, it's to achieve more loans at a cheaper price. And what the, the government is doing is, through the government, what they're trying or proposing to is to give like uh, guarantees to the banks in order for the banks to make safer loans. And we have to make those credits cheaper. So the result, what we're looking for, is for the businesses, for the people, to be able to get better, better choices of loans, better choices of credits, and at a better prices. So what other challenges are Mexico's banks facing today? We're facing many challenges. As you know, uh, the Mexican banking uh, industry is still at a very aggressive growing rate. We have a very safe banks. For example, we're ready to go into Basilea III. We have a very good balance sheets in all, most of the banks. And I think the biggest challenges are that uh, we need to give more, more access to the people and, and to our services. Not more than 10% of our population has access to it. So we don't only face a lot of challenges, but we face a lot uh, of um, opportunities in order for the banks to keep growing in Mexico. The president has also announced a $300 billion program of infrastructure investment over the next six years. So why is this needed? Very important. I think infrastructure is the key for a country to stay co uh, competitive. If we don't have the infrastructure, airports, ports, highways, uh, dams, whatever, if we don't have the infrastructure in order to compete with the world countries, we're going to stay behind. And that's uh, something that's been happening to Mexico. If we look at Mexico, the position that it holds in the world economically, we are way far behind in the position that we hold in infrastructures investment. So I think the announcement that the president made is something that has us very excited in Mexico. $300 billion in investments will do a lot, not only for air, he talked about airports, about new ports, about getting better highways, and that should make uh, Mexico more competitive for sure. Finally, Interacciones has a history of working with the government on these projects, so you are expecting the phone call pretty soon, I guess. We have a lot of experience in infrastructure, that's for sure. This year, Banco Interacciones is 20 years old, and one of our main niches that we have specialized in since the first year was infrastructure. We have developed a very specific strategy in financing and investment, investing in infrastructure projects, as I mentioned all types of projects, and mainly the private and projects that are partnered with the government. We did, for example, last year we financed the first PPP project, which is private and government uh, projects, uh, which financed a museum, for example, which is the first time that that has been done in Latin America. So we're very excited about what the president has uh, announced. We are ready for the challenge, and we're willing to work with Mexico on that. Carlos, thank you. Thank you very much, Nick. It's been a pleasure.